It's your girl Zafina here and I'm back with another YouTube video. So as you can tell from the title, we are going to be doing a girl, girl talk, talk. Q&A. As you can see, we have some new faces here. So we're gonna go around and everybody's gonna introduce themselves. Hey y'all, it's your girl Desi Des, period. <laughs> hey guys, it's Serena. Hey, it's Tora. Hey. <laughs> So basically, we had put, well, Destiny had put on her story to ask questions. So this is all gonna be like kind of like girl talk related questions. So it's a lot of topics you guys <laughs> ask. Not you eat it. Yeah, not you eat it before we even start. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys actually ask a lot of questions. So of course, we're not gonna answer all of them, but we will get through as much as we can. We actually got some food, so it's gonna be like a Q&A plus a thing. We have been sitting here smelling this delicious food, and as you can see, Destiny- Garbage! So, um, yeah, we're just gonna be eating and just having a good time answering some questions. So, I hope that you guys enjoy. Make sure that you guys subscribe to all of our social media that will be on the screen and show some love and show some support. And let's just get right into this video. So, first of all, what we got to eat? I got a turkey burger. I wanted quesadillas, but lactose intolerant. I ain't even feel like dealing with all that right now. So, I just got a turkey burger and some fries. What y'all get? We got some vegetable cake. Quesadillas and fries. Nice. She's vegetarian. She don't um, eat meat. Yeah, I got a chicken quesadilla and fries. I haven't ate from this place in dumb long, so hopefully it's a, it's as good as I remember. You have to remember, we are eating and talking, right. so they ain't just gonna be sitting here watching us right. eat. <laughs> what advice would you tell girls who want to start a YouTube channel but scared? Of handling the criticism. Yeah, so who would go first? Yeah, who want to go first? Okay, I'll say something first. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, like everybody gets criticism. Like yeah. on social media, that's just what it like what it comes with. So you shouldn't be scared of that criticism. I mean, yeah, you, you would feel some type of way about it, but you shouldn't let that just discourage you and like make you not want to do it because it just comes with the whole package. So you should still like do it and like start it and just, honestly just don't care what anybody says to be honest right yeah. do it for you and that's just it that's just that on that yeah. <laughs> yeah and with the criticism y'all sometimes it could be a lot a lot a lot yeah. but i would say these people don't know you for real they don't know you in real life they yeah. all come with their assumptions and all that so at the end of the day you gotta think like you don't know me you don't know nothing about me yeah. like you look goofy with these assumptions because yeah. it's not even true um, once you get on the internet and start defending yourself, they're just gonna attack you more. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, don't even bother it, yeah. doing that. I don't even read my comments, y'all. Yeah, I do not read my comments on my videos. Yeah. Long got time. And honestly, I would say, like, if it's something that you truly love, like, as you just said, just don't care what other people think. Because if it's something that you truly love at the end of the day, like, it don't matter what anybody else got to say, for real. Next question. Do y'all have a boyfriend, and are y'all looking for one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm single. S I N G L E. Everybody is single. single. Well, they all single. They all single. They all single. No, they all single. You're engaged. <laughs> Sis is already locked up. Y'all looking and the key is thrown away. She's period. Period. Ah, 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 period. Y'all looking for somebody or no? As a country comes. Yeah. If God wants to bless me during this time, don't ever let me know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, you ain't looking for nothing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, we're quiet. <laughs> I would say not really because I feel like people my age don't even take relationships seriously. Yeah. yeah. So like there's no really point of going into one. Well that's not any age to be honest. I have another question. Okay. It's what is it like to be a grown woman or young adult? So you wanna answer that? Because you're Man. like the most grown. Yeah. <laughs> Man, to be a grown woman, what's it like? Um, it's like you're still trying to figure yourself out. Like, you know, of course we don't have everything figured out. We're still taking life day by day, like figuring out what we like, what we don't like, um, like what career we want to go into, what career we don't want to go into, you know? Mm -hmm. And the type of people, you know, as you get older, people leave your life, friends wise. And you know, just balancing like who's, who might be around forever and who may not be. Mm -hmm. Because most people you're growing up with now are not going to be there forever. Mm -hmm. But I would say like, also, wait, what was the question? <laughs> What is it like to be a grown woman or young adult? What's it like? Work, work, work. <coughs> work Literally work, every day, work, all day. Work work work. work, work, work. Even though I don't got a traditional nine to five. Yeah. Every day, all I think about is, oh, YouTube video this, YouTube video this. How can I make more money? What do I need to yeah. do? Yeah. How can money, I love money, love money? Love yeah. Things like that. Yeah, I would agree with what you're saying. Like, yeah. even now, like, I feel like at every stage in your life, you're still trying to figure out yourself. Even right. though we're with each other. Exactly. No, we're with ourselves. Yeah. Like, 
the whole day. Mm -hmm. So we're still trying to figure out ourselves, and that's a good thing. Like yeah. just learning to love yourself, spending quality time with yourself during quarantine, and all that type of stuff. Like we were really like locked inside. And I really just took that time to just learn more about myself, spend time with myself. Yeah. I started journaling, meditating yeah, and stuff. And and it helped. It helped. It to your inner yeah. self. Really. Yeah, it helped for real. Yeah. Do y'all have anything to say? Even though y'all ain't grown. <laughs> ain't grown. Just still trying, like, even with me, like, being 16, just still trying to find yourself. Like, just figure out what you want to do. Figure out just life. Right. And just keep on going, like. Yeah, I feel yeah, like another thing. Like day day. Yeah. yeah, I feel like another thing is, like, don't compare yourself to others. And you live your own life. You make your own. Are you Everybody's different, so don't mm -hmm. go comparing yourself to other girls because I feel like that's what a lot of people do. Right. And that's what I do too sometimes, <laughs> but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> Especially as you get older, don't want to be like, you know, social media has taken over. Mm -hmm. And don't want to be like, none of them girls on social media because that doesn't exactly. happen real. Yeah. First yes. of all, they probably got plastic surgery. If they don't have plastic <laughs> surgery, I can promise you that they're editing their video, their yeah. pictures anyway. They don't really, like... That perfection that you see on Instagram is not real life. So That's don't be insane. stressing yourself out, depressed about how you look in your natural body, your natural face, your yeah. natural everything, hair. You don't gotta wear all these wigs because they <laughs> definitely be looking good on Instagram. But yeah. in person, it'd be a whole nother story. Okay? Oh my God. Different color. You see all that bumped up. Mm -mm. That's what I'm saying. So don't compare yourself to social media, even though social media is taking over the world. But don't compare yourself or try to keep up with them people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, I saw this quote and it was like, on social media, media like people only show the good side like they show the highlight reels you don't see right. all the bad sides so if you're comparing yourself to people who only show the good of course we don't want people to see like our downfalls or whatever and that's what a lot of people like don't show so you shouldn't really compare yourself to that because a lot of people on social media are fake like a yeah. lot of them For real. a lot of them are fake so you can smile when you depressed, you can smile when you're exactly. you can smile. It's like they're all acting, acting. they're yeah. actors. So yeah, dub it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, there's another question. Um, this girl said, I haven't got my period yet. When I get it, what should I do? Any tips? Girl, you are lucky. Girl. <laughs> you're lucky. Girl. Mm. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. I ain't got no tip for you, it is. <laughs> It just happened. Everybody different though. So. Yeah. But you know, like when I first got my period, I don't, I thought that like you're only you only get it once in your life. Like I didn't think that you got it every month. No. I was every like, month. This is like a monthly trial. I'm like, <laughs> bro, I did not sign up for this. One tip I will say, when I first started mine, I used to not track it because I used to be like, I'm not doing all that. Yeah. Shit. But now that I'm older, I'll be tracking that thing. Like, is it fancy? Come on, like whatever, whatever. Yeah. Like, every time before it come on, I'm like. I need to go work out. I'm getting so fat. And then I'm like, oh, this why. So now I track it, and it makes life so much easier when you just track it. I yeah. plan vacations around it. I'm trying to plan my wedding around it. Everything. Oh, yeah, like, it's like it makes once life that happens, easier. Once that happens, it's kind of like your whole life changes. Cause like even for me. I do the same thing, like plan around it. Like, if I know this, like during my period, like I just be feeling like I just want to lay down in my bed the whole day. I don't want to be bothered. Yeah. Even when it's about to come on, yeah. come on, yeah, I be like, bro, don't talk to yeah. me. Don't do nothing. <laughs> just don't even look at me. Right. Don't breathe in my presence. <laughs> nothing. Don't let me get cold. That's <laughs> a whole other situation. That's what I'm saying. I feel like we're scaring her, Loki. <laughs> yeah, be scared. Very scared. <laughs> No, but honestly, like, make sure that you're staying clean, like, during your period. And track it, yeah. so it's better. Yeah, stay Please. clean during your period, track it, make sure you're drinking your water, girl, because that's the time that your body, yaddy yeah. yaddy, is cleaning itself out. Use Honey Pot. I use Honey Pot, which is all natural, vegan friendly. Yeah, yeah. And it, like, regulates your period, so it's, like, smoother, my cramps don't be as bad or none mm -hmm. of that. So yeah. I would say try Honey Pot. Yeah, that's I've heard it's good. Yeah. Cause it's like all natural and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah use all natural stuff, stuff though. Yeah. Don't be sticking no chemicals anywhere. Exactly. Cause mm -hmm. girl, you don't want no yeast infection or whatever they got going on. And now. them scented pads. Mm -mm, don't do them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> scented tampons. Yes. No. No. Don't no. No. Girl, you gotta take care of your thing. Mm-hmm. If I'm too scared to ask a girl out, oh, what should I do? This is not really like a girl talking. What are you scared for? Yeah, you know, <laughs> girls don't even like unless the girl's like stuck up, yeah. and you will already see that if she is stuck up, mm -hmm. she's not gonna just be like, ew. Yeah. So just ask. The worst she could do is say no. Say no and then yes. you like your feelings will probably be hurt. But yeah. <laughs>
I mean, it's just a no. Yeah, just or take the no and roll with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> or what you can do is just ask, to, like, hang out with like a group of like you and your friends. So it's not like too like intimate where it's just like y'all two, because that can be weird at times yeah. if you just get to know the person. So you could do something like that. Just be like, oh, me and my friends are going to the movies to see blah 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 blah. I'm gonna come. Yeah. Like something like that. And start a conversation before you just ask somebody out. Yeah. Yeah. You don't talk to her because you're shy, and then yeah. you just one day come out. Just walk no. up to her. No. Make no. conversation <laughs> first. Yeah. Oh, who do we look up to? Who's our biggest mm. inspiration? Um. Um. Who I look up to? Who y'all should? Yeah, don't look up to y'all friends. I'm telling y'all right now. Yeah. Don't look up to Girl, no. Don't look up to your friends. Don't try to do friends what your friends come and do. Go. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. Dang, I asked the question. I don't even know who I look up to. Um. I'm not gonna look up to like my mom. But, yeah, like, I was gonna say that, but yeah. that's such a basic. Yeah, answer. it's basic, but I look up to my mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm satisfied with the woman she is about yeah. becoming that woman. So. <laughs> yeah, I just said the same thing. Yeah. Okay, somebody said let's talk about they taxing the F out of us for feminine products. No, <laughs> damn for real. They do. Yeah. They Honey pot, I just told y'all honey pot, but when I tell y'all it's expensive, I mean they expensive, expensive. expensive. I'm like, yeah. this should be free. Right. Like, why are you so expensive? You know it ain't gonna be free though, and they don't even want people to tell women what to do with their body. And that's they should, the world hate women in my opinion, but yeah. it just is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> what would you tell yourself five years ago? Okay, so this is good. Mm -hmm. well, how old, this. How old yeah. was that even? Five. <laughs> you're so you're a toddler. <laughs> no, you're like seven. That's still a toddler age though. Um, five years ago I was thirteen. Dang. Five years ago I was eighteen. You were my Dang. age five years ago. I was like the toy's age five years ago. Mm -hmm. Aww. I'm fourteen. What's your difference? Um, what I would tell myself five years ago, honestly, like growing up, like I dealt a lot with like insecurities and like I was very shy growing up. I'm still shy now, but like I don't know, I'm like half shy, but like half outgoing at the same time. It just mm -hmm. depends like how comfortable I am around you, but I feel like that's what everybody right. to be honest. So <clears throat> I was very shy, like I had low self-esteem, low self-confidence, insecurities, and not to say like I don't deal with any insecurities or anything now, because that's normal, like that's human, everybody has that. But I was just in a darker place back then. So I would honestly yeah. tell myself I would want like I would tell myself to really just love myself for who I am and that's another thing I would compare myself to other people all the time all the time like it got so bad I there's a lot of girls who do that though yeah you know, a lot, a lot. yeah um yeah so I would just tell myself like to just focus on my self love focus on my self worth like I don't have to be trying too hard to please anybody like the only right. person I should be pleasing is myself and God to be honest yeah so um yeah I that's what I was telling myself like I'll just be like girl love yourself like right. say your little affirmations like tell yourself you're beautiful even if you don't feel it like tell yeah. yourself like I still do, do that to this day like I'll just look in the mirror and tell myself I'm beautiful and I feel yeah. like everybody no matter how confident you are you should always be your biggest hype man. Like yeah. hype yourself. Don't look for nobody else to do it. Yeah. Ain't gonna do it how they right. yeah. yeah. And not to say that in a cocky way, but you really should be your biggest hype man. Yeah. Like for real. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would tell myself. Um, I would tell myself to just live more. Um, in high school, you know, you'd be stressed out. My parents, oh, my parents, <laughs> you know, I'm mad at your parents and like. Mm -hmm. Well, me. I used to be mad at my parents or I used to be mad at friends or anything, but like, I would just say, you know, in high school, senior year, you're thinking about what college I'm about to go to, what I'm about to do with my life, and da da da. You know, you're thinking so much. And I would say just relax because reality is most people don't even know. Like, yeah, high school, we're done with school, your life is supposed to begin at that point, but you still have so much more life to live before it even starts. Mm -hmm. So. I would say live a little more. I should have traveled more. I should have got out more. You know, I was still under my parents' roof. I didn't have to worry about bills. I didn't have to worry about anything at that time. So I would have got, I would have used the money that I had to, if it's like, I would have used it to travel, start a business. You know, do something mm -hmm. because when you're living at your parents' house, it's so much easier to just start anything because if it fails, you literally lost nothing. Like you still have a roof over your head, you know? But once you move out and you got bills and all that, 
you know, your money is like, oh, I got to pay this, though. Yeah, so I don't really yeah. have the money to stretch and try this, and it failed. You know, you got more to think about. So I would say while you're young and still in your parents' house, try everything, you know? Because mm -hmm. the worst thing that can happen is you could fail, and you still got a roof over your head. You yeah. still got food on your table because your parents, like, still taking care of you at that age, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, that's what I would tell myself. Well, I would tell my younger self. I was 11. Girl. <laughs> I was 11. <laughs> um, I'll probably say, like, don't think too hard on stuff. Like, don't think. I don't really know how to explain it, but, like, take life how it is. Like, don't think about, like, plan out each, like, this is how it's going to, this is how it's going to happen, this is how it's going to happen. Like, when we plan, like, it's good to plan and stuff, but, like, most of the time it does not go as planned. So right. you shouldn't like da 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 this step one, this step two. Like right. take life how it is and just go how it is supposed to go. Is it so like eighteen forty? I think so. <laughs> I better be in focus. Yeah, I look like it. Mm -hmm. I was not. I think that was chill. <laughs> I think that was good. <laughs> life was good. Okay guys, so um, this video has been pretty long and we enjoyed our food and we still got a little more which we could finish after the video. Yeah. But I hope that you guys enjoy this girl talk. Um, if you guys want to see us do another video like this, please let us know and Destiny will book the next flight. Yeah. 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 Y'all coming to Tampa next. Y'all coming to Tampa. Oh my god. <laughs> so just let us know. Cool. No, let her know. <laughs> and she will book the next this video i know it was a lot of laughing but i hope that you guys got some advice out of this i think it was good yeah, yeah. it was yeah. good it was like chill or yeah um yeah so i hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your morning evening or night make sure you guys follow us on all of our social media accounts so that you guys keep up to date with all of us and you guys can talk to us and you guys can give us some support and some love and yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye y'all bye, -bye. bye.